40% of Columbia's rapid shelter homes are filled. The city of Columbia opened those homes and the accompanying services two weeks ago with a goal of getting chronically unhoused people off the streets. The 50 single room homes are located on Calhoun Street next to the shelter, which was formerly called the Inclement Weather Center. This evening, our Chris Joseph is live at that site to tell us more about what leaders say about the demand, Chris, for these homes. Judy, in some ways, this was expected. The city has been announcing its estimate that there are 250 unhoused people within the city. Of course, you do that math, 250 people, only 50 homes, there will be demand. Of course, 20 of them have been filled, and those are folks who traditionally might benefit from the individual housing as compared to the more congregate housing. Now, there is a referral and approval process before a person is allocated any of those homes. The city allocated $2.6 million for the homes, services, and operating costs in September. Now, the nearby warming center, which could be important tonight, is now called the overflow housing, but it continues to provide the exact same shelter services during cold weather. Now, Kamisha Heppard leads the system and was not available for a sit-down interview, but said the outreach process for the pallet homes, those tiny homes, has been going smoothly. At-large City Councilwoman Adity Bustles has helped spearhead the implementation of the rapid shelters. Bustles says she was not surprised by the demand, and the goal is to get the residents into a more stable situation within 90 days things that was really important to us is that we gave folks options and now there are options you can go into the pallet shelter you can go into the inclement weather center now known as rapid housing you could go into any of these other programs that you might be eligible for but living on the street is not an option right and so we do expect to see a visible reduction of people living on the street um, and we do also expect that folks will take advantage of the resources that are brought to them now, as the temperatures drop, the demand for the inclement or what was formerly referred to as the inclement weather center has climbed. Transitions runs that center and told me that 46 people came through last night. Reporting in Columbia, Chris Joseph, WIS News 10.